Young black men, take your place. We need you. Your sons and daughters need you. Did you understand what I just said? You were sold off and had no choice. Yes, but now it's time to stay. Take your place. Now, starting now, starting now. Young black women, you are more than your thighs and your hips. You are beautiful, strong, powerful. I want more from you. Take your place. Like we always do about this time. Yeah. 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 Your name, girl. <laughs> if you know what's best for you, don't answer that, girl. <laughs> to, to answer it. Listen, we are back with another slide episode. Slide in the DMs. Slide in the DMs. Stick a, stick a slide. slide in the DMs. Slide. Slide in the DMs. His. Slippery slide. <laughs> Not slide into these two. <laughs> no, Only slide, slide, slide in the heads. Slide in the heads. We don't. No smoke. No more. No None. smoke. I want no room problems. Here, That's the only room. We don't want the problems. Like I said on sports show. I don't want the problems. Tell as big as a whale. <laughs> he killed me with that the other day. Holla at, at your boy. boy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know what? Let we me go. Because we need to be we doing see, black excellence right we, now. Listen. Season two, that, y'all see, we're still cutting that up. Niggerness. This is black excellence. Listen, <laughs> his booty. niggerness right now is over. <laughs> over. The, yeah. We start anyway, niggerness. niggerness. <laughs> <laughs> Before we get into today's episode, let's take care of some housekeeping rules. Mm-hmm. Make sure you guys go over to the website uh-huh. www.ioftenwonder19.com. You'll find everything there to all of our social media platforms, as well as old episodes. All of season one, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, the Patreon page. Go ahead and get all the merch. merch you see it on the table. You merch, see Lamar merch, wearing it. Merch, merch, all the merch, merch is there. Merch. merch, 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 merch. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, if y'all didn't know that, it's the merch song every time. <laughs> Everything is there. If you have any questions, you can email us there as well. But we are in February, mm-hmm. and we're talking about everything that's black power, yeah, you're right. black sexiness, yeah, you're black right. inspiration, uh-huh. everything that's uh-huh. bliggity bliggity uh-huh. black, baby. Mama say, Mama say, Mama Kusa. Mama say, Mama say, Mama Kusa. It's the dramatic yes. pause for me. Yeah, it's go. the dramatic pause for me. Yeah. Today is no different. Um, but we wanted to talk on this because. This is like a bonus track. Yeah. You, know, you get that album, this, you get that bonus that track. That bonus track, yeah. This, this is a bonus, a bonus track. This happened, <laughs> bonus, yeah, this, this happened. Bonus track. <laughs> that <laughs> extra. Bonus but track. we felt like it was very important to talk about it's, because it's she is so, she was so influential in the back, black community. She, uh, black? She, yeah, listen. She was like everybody grandmammy. Yeah, mm-hmm. like well, literally when I read it right. and they were like, she passed. I was like, grandma, wait, no. No. My heart really, like, my heart really, really hurt it. Like, it, 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 yeah. You were hurting. It, it hurt it. If hurt, y'all don't know what it. we're talking about, if you've been living under a rock, the great, um, the great Miss Cicely Tyson, right, 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 passed away on January 28th, 28th right, uh, the beginning of this year. Mm. 2021 is not looking pretty already. No, it's taking They're me trying to catch up to 20. Listen, they, they took Hank Aaron. Mm-hmm. Uh, we said John Cooley. Uh, uh, John, yeah, John Chaney just Chaney, passed. Chaney, right. He he passed the 29th, right? Yeah, after, right after um, Cicely. But for mo- those that don't know, Cicely Tyson was 96 years old, born in 1924. She's seen a lot. She's seen a lot. She's been through a lot. She paved the way a for lot a lot of black actresses and actors. actors. Oh yeah. Um, from everything that she did back in the day to what most people are recognized now um, and is more familiar with her now in a lot of Tyler Perry features. Uh, she was that token grandma auntie for Tyler Perry. Um, how did y'all feel on yesterday when when that came across? Um, I mean, just like, just like 
any other, um, you know, person that looked like us and seen a lot of films that she was featured in. And you're like, because, you know, when you see certain people on TV or, mm-hmm. or stuff like that in the media, uh, you, you come to appreciate them from afar. Mm-hmm. And so when they pass away, you're like, damn. Right. Because mm-hmm. like, it's like, like you said, 2020 was just trash. Mm-hmm. And then just this first month of 2021 is like, it ain't getting no better. Right. right. Is, is we still in the damn pandemic. Mm-hmm. We, we, we starting to lose pretty much a lot of the people that have paved the way for most people that look like us in media, sports, whatever. Right. And we're losing them. Right. So this is one of those pillars mm. that we lost. And it's just like, wow. So it's like, you know, you you take the moment to appreciate that you got to see so much of her great work and then, you know, just appreciate life in general. You know what I'm saying? It it, it humbles you. It, 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 you know, makes you appreciate the, the small things. Right. You know, appreciate the people that you love and, and you know. It, it sucks that we that we losing a pillar like this because we we not gonna get to see her in any more films. None. Mm. And that and to me that hurts because just to see her artistry, great, a great actress. Oh man, yeah. a great actress. I oh, mean, you can go throw her list of films. And you look at it like this. She lived to be ninety six years old. Right. Yeah. That's a long. That's a long time. Rich life. Mm-hmm. You know, and through that course, that's a lot of movies through that span. Mm-hmm. You know, that we can appreciate. I mean, she played in a lot of stuff. Like like I was saying earlier, I remember Sounder, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Bustin' Loose was one of my favorite movies with yeah. uh, Richard Pryor. Yeah, the, um, the Roots. Right. Yeah. Right. Um, Tyler Perry um, movie. Yeah, yeah. Was yeah. It, she did was a few. It, was it a family reunion? She, was she, that one? she did yeah. the family reunion. Yeah, yeah. She's done a lot. She's There's a couple movies yeah. that she's in. I remember that one for sure. And I can't think like, of the movie oh, when she, um, she, her daughter didn't want to be black or it was. Not proud to be black or something um, like that. Dang. I can't remember. That yeah. was a good movie. Then she, I, I, I didn't know she was born in Ireland. I mean, her, well, she was born in Harlem, but her family's from Ireland. From the islands. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah. Right. That's why she kind of had that raspiness, mm-hmm. uh, that little, a little yeah. bit of an accent right, to right. her. I didn't know her and Miles Davis was, was kicking in. A lot right. of people didn't know that. I didn't know that one. Mm-hmm. A lot of people did not know that. Wonderful. And I think oh, that's, what, that's what was great because mm-hmm. she she showed an elegance to her career and her lifestyle. You she kept all her, that yeah, stuff was going you on. Kept her, she kept her private life private. Mm-hmm. And unless you were in her inner circle, you did not You did not know. I just want to know, did anybody check on Tyler Perry? Because um, uh, that's um, Tyler. I'm sorry. I know, it, I know that has to hit home because... There's a you if you look back over a lot of things when she started working with Tyler, Tyler made sure that he was the one walking her down the red carpet. He mm-hmm. was the one um helping her do stuff. You see all these different pictures. Um and she there's an interview that she did um with him. Um and she literally she calls him, Tyler, that's my son. Mm. So it's like losing a a, a mother. Like it's right, it's right. it's crazy. Like I'm still at Still at all, but she bridged the gap for so many people. I remember, yeah. Um, you know, I was I've always been a Tyler Perry fan. Um, but yeah, we know you're gonna do that. I, mm. I already knew. But <laughs> my dad, my dad's like you guys. He was not a Tyler Perry fan. Mm-hmm. He was not. He didn't like it. But he would pull out another old Cicely Tyson movie, and we would watch both of them and bond yeah. over them together. Mm-hmm. She she bridged the gap for a I lot. I forgot so. she was in Hoodlum. Yeah, yeah. too. Yeah, wow. Hood, I, I remember her featuring in because uh, I'm a big uh, Law and Order SVU. Yeah, remember that episode. Yeah, was she bad. was crucial in that episode. I mean, and not even just her movies. If you think about it, 2016, uh, while President, uh, former President Barack Obama was in office, she he awarded her the Medal of Freedom. Um, she just released uh, her book, Just as I Am, or her memoir. Just as I am. Um, and we were, as we were preparing for the show, because like we said, this is a bonus show. So y'all are getting literally everything fresh off the brain. <laughs> Raw like emotions. this is for us, this is still like a burn that needs to be popped, like mm. a little callus. Um <laughs> Gail King did an interview with her um the week before she passed. Mm-hmm. 
And one of the things that Gail King asked her was, what do you want people to remember about you? Mm. And Gail had to explain it. It's not that Gail felt like she was getting ready to leave us, but even though, Gail, you might be like us and have a little foresight into the future just a little bit. Fuck it. Uh, <laughs> Well, <laughs> well, tell well, us how you really feel then. This nigga ain't sugarcoated. God, you know so you can say forget. Get, you know, you know what I'm saying? No, girl, we don't like no. you. Anything. We, we don't rock with you like that, girl. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just ain't straight you, out with it. Mm-mm. Rather, Jesus. what you say? What you gotta say about Gail? Oh, I got it off my chest. This is. I'm good. <laughs> this is the second time where she's come in handy <laughs> with the first. <laughs> 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 he ran all the IOW sports stuff into the uh, to the Often Wonder podcast today. Yeah, this nigga bringing in all the stuff. Right. He really said it with his chest. I'm actually kind of upset. That was the last interview she did with that raggedy bitch. Yeah. My, okay. I, mean, I can um, understand. I'm just saying. You know, saying we, he is going we trying hard. trying to celebrate Cicely over here. Right, I'm, just, he I'm is- just saying we, we, Cicely couldn't have done an interview with like... Um, Hell, I didn't. Well, I, she be, couldn't do it with Larry King. Yeah, because he passed away. <laughs> oh, well, damn. <laughs> I see, why are you laughing at that? No, nope. no, nope. I am not joining in that foolishness right there. Just saying. Not with that one. <laughs> no. Nope. I mean, I mean. <laughs> it's the way that he said it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he did say it in there real <laughs> He just slid it right in there. He's like, wait, what? That's what I do. <laughs> no, right no, 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 no. But it's, uh, I'm, I'm glad that we kind of have this kind of moment because that's what Cicely did in all her stuff. She brought families together and made them laugh mm-hmm. and made them cry tears like Jamel just made me. <laughs> um, but she stood for something. Um, her mother told, even told her, you're not going to live in my household doing this uh, actress mm. type stuff. Like, you're not going to make it. She made it during a time where black women were at the bottom of the bottom of the bottom. Right, right. right. Um, and she played so many, so many different roles. Like, I really feel like that's my grandma that I'm missing right now. <laughs> I just, I really feel like that. Um as of as of right now, the family still has not released a statement um, to reveal the cause of death. Mm-hmm. So we don't know if it was a pandemic or if it right. was just because she was older. You know, you got to remember she's 96. And that's what I was saying before someone cut up. Uh, that's what Gail was saying in her, in her interview and remembering her. She didn't ask that question because uh, she felt like the end was near. But she asked that question because um, Cicely was 96 mm-hmm. and... Cicely just wanted people to remember, I did my best. Mm-hmm. And I think she kept I, it short and sweet. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I think as as a fan, as as a as a woman, you know, I can definitely say you did more than your best, Cicely Tyson. Right. You definitely did more than your best. But she's had a lot of a lot of great movies, a lot of great things. What's one of you guys' like favorites? <sighs> Shoot, I gotta sit down here and think. Yeah, I figured. You like would. I said, I named Sounder and and uh, Busting Loose. Those were some good movies. Um, I, I no, you can say we can say we want about Tyler Perry, but she was good in his movie. Oh, yeah. No, no, she was. She played a no, she was. Girl, she, I, I can't good. remember. Was it Family Reunion? Was, was that the one? I think it was. Uh, the one that's the one that comes to my mind. Well, yeah, well, well, y'all think about the family reunion scene. Yeah, the, the family that reunion was scene a, um, was, was just it like... It was... Uh, uh, I can't remember the name of that damn... I know, bet y'all go I try to forget right all, now. a lot of shit that Tyler Perry does. I, 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 I mean, watched so this. much. I'm, I'm going to say it's about Tyler Perry. It's not that I didn't like some of his, his material, or some of the stuff he produced. It's the fact that, I guess, you get tired of that rinse, rock, rinse, rinse wash, and repeat. Well, that's what it was for me. You know what I'm saying? It's like, okay, this was good. This was a good thing. I went to see some of the plays, you know. Um, I went to see some of the movies. But after a while, okay, like, you wearing Madea in the ground. <laughs> after a while, you know what I'm saying? You wearing, that you wearing some other stuff on the ground. Shit. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what brought you some money. <laughs> yeah, but come on now. Like, enough I mean, if you're enough. a creative person. You got to be creative. Create something else. Yes. But I mean, I, I, I just wanted to say... Just wanted to yes, say that. Yes, it is the family reunion. Okay, okay, I just wanted to say that because I didn't want to think that. Yeah, but that scene was dope. That we it's hate like, on him. It's just that we just want you to do more, do better, expand. No, I want you to be creative. Right, expand. <laughs> I think though, the one of the one of my since we're talking about favorite movies, since y'all are st- just uh, still remembering in y'all world, um, 
there are, of course, when it comes to Tyler Perry, uh, that's where I got a lot of my newer exposure. But I loved, even in her her age of 96, um, she did a very, <clears throat> excuse me, um, a very important role in a movie called A Fall From Grace. Mm-hmm. I remember that. And that movie took, like, the way that she acted. Because if you haven't seen it, go watch it first and foremost. Um, but she had to act like a battered um, elderly woman that's being held in um, this lady's house. Um, and it was it was amazing. Another one that I, I loved, and she, she did this one with uh, Angela Bassett, um, a Rosa Parks story. Mm-hmm. Um, if you have not seen that, watch that because that was that was. Whoa. She was in Claudine. I forgot about uh-huh. that. She was in the hero in nothing but a sandwich. Yep, those are classic movies. And that's the thing. That's what people don't realize. Like she, her catalog is deep, man, <laughs> deep. But she was still active. Yeah, yeah. Because a, a fall from grace was twenty twenty. That movie came out in twenty twenty. I watched it by default because my old lady wanted to watch it. Thank you, thank you, friend. Yeah. Thank you, D. Not because I love I, you, sis. Not because I wanted to. Don't do it. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Um. But her part was dope. You listen. You know, but let, now if you think about, it, there's a couple of things that comes to mind. One is that that's a sign of a good. Actor act slash actress, right? When even if you don't really like the movie or the movie's not that great, mm-hmm. but you can you can say, but that part that such and such played, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It still it stands out, yeah. You know, you come in and you do your part, and that part stands out in a movie, whether the movie is great or not. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When your part shines, that's 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 a testament to how great of a performer you are. Yeah. And the second thing that, that kind of popped in my head, it seems like we've been talking about legacy for the last couple of days. Yeah. I have. You know, um, we talked about in the show All Lamar sports, and I did. Yeah. We talked about in the sports show. We Now we're kind of really talking about her, le- um, Cicely Tyson's legacy, mm-hmm. you know. And it, it should get people to start reflecting, mm-hmm. you know, whether you want to... Say you believe in God, you can say it's God trying to tell you something. You want to say the universe, whatever term you want to put whatever out there. Whatever terminology. Terminology you want to use. But maybe there's something that's speaking, mm-hmm. that's saying, consider your legacy. Yeah, um, so that's good. if you're doing something now that's tarnishing your legacy, Fix make it, it about face. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you're doing something that is laying a foundation for your legacy, keep up the good work. But just always remember that you, in this life that you're living, are producing, creating a legacy. You're you're in control of it. You know what I'm saying? You control your legacy. That's like one thing that. you can control. Right. And so <laughs> when you see people like Cicely Tyson that that that's gone from this earth, and you look back at her life, you know, think about what are you gonna leave. Mm-hmm. What are they gonna say when your time comes? Yeah, because it's it's gonna happen. You know what I'm saying, let's think about we we looking up her list of accomplishments. This is just page upon page upon page per page you know, upon page of different things she's accomplished. I mean, she's so great. But you, oh yeah, I forgot you played that movie. Oh right. yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because there's so much stuff that she played in, and I can't think of any movie that I seen her played in that I can say. She did a bad job. And not even movies. You gotta think about it. She did a lot of stage yeah. plays yeah, stage as play, well. Yeah, performance and stuff like that. Yeah. Like, Off Broadway stuff. You're talking about people, somebody who shatters stereotypes. Right. And that's actually something that the New York Times said. Keep down you those. Know, mm-hmm. she, and she refused to take roles that were the quote unquote demanding roles for black people during mm-hmm. her time. Mm-hmm. She wanted the Demeaning. roles. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. She wanted uh roles uh that were for everyone else. Like right. not looking my skin color. And one thing I love that she says, she's like, before she, you know, she reads every script that she gets mm-hmm. from front to back, but before she accepts it, she has to really feel like that person has become her mm. in that script. That's before right. she does anything else. So that lets you know how serious. She was about her craft, which mm-hmm. I just... It's starting to feel like a lot of her characters she played was pretty much just the, uh, an extension of her. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. So, like, like we like we said with the Family Reunion one, and which is which one of the ones that I remember for a fact 
was mm-hmm. when you know she got upset because all the family oh, yeah. was kind of dysfunctional, mm-hmm. and she she pretty much was like, "You guys doing all this booty and gyrating, mm-hmm. and you doing this and you doing mm-hmm. that," and she pretty much was like, "Cut the foolishness out and brought." The family back together, right? Like only a, an elder can do. Yeah, mm-hmm. and and that's why I feel like this is a tough loss. Oh yeah, this is going to hit the black community very, very hard. But I think it should hit everybody hard. Right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. I agree with that too. I'm, I think I, the acting world or Hollywood should, if she doesn't have a star on, on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, she, they better get it. They better get it within the next twenty four, forty eight hours. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we're going to take just, all them stars off. <laughs> <laughs> she, deserves the be, she deserves to be celebrated. You know, she, she, diver- she de- deserves her own corner on Hollywood. <laughs> right. right. I mean, she a has street a, named after yeah. her. Yeah. School I mean, in um, East Orange, New Jersey. That's right. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, so, I mean, she has a lot of accomplishments. That as first, because we talking black history, as black people, that's someone we can hold up. Yeah. And say, hey, this is one of ours. We can admire. She represented well. She represented well. Mm -hmm. You know, and then over to the world, you know, people in Hollywood can look and say, this was a good representation of an actress, Mm -hmm. you know, of someone in our community, in the Hollywood community. And then the people that over in the stage plays, here's a good representation. You know what I'm saying? Everywhere you go, you can see where people can say she was a good rep- representation in that particular community that she mm-hmm. belonged in. Yeah. And I think that right there speaks volume. Straight up. Mm-hmm. Well, we didn't want to be on here long. Like we said, this was the bonus episode that you guys are getting. Got to pay respects. Um, we felt, yeah, we felt like it would definitely be a disservice it's with the platform mm-hmm. that we're mm-hmm. on for us not to honor her right. um, for everything she did. Because if you think about it, you know, she honestly... Part of her paved the way for us to do this because, mm-hmm. you know, she broke down a lot of media yeah. barriers. Right, right. <laughs> so we thank you as as a team. We thank you. Um, we of course we send prayers out to her family. Anyone in Hollywood that has inter- encountered her, who has dealt with her, um, and we just did, yeah, we Y'all. salute, you. salute. <laughs> well. I think that's Rest all, we, heaven, can, baby. That's all, all right. we can say because I'm I'm trying not to get teary eyed today. <laughs> I don't know I've it. already been teary eyed once. <laughs> so, do it. Y'all know I do it. But <laughs> until next time. Monday. Yeah, Monday. Till Monday. 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 ILW Monday. Sports. Right. Live. Make sure you guys are there. Um, the boys are been holding it down. Um him and his team is y'all have probably have hear all the replays on it. Stop being all a the hater. Cli- all the clips You're that he will probably add to every show You're for the next six months. <laughs> um, until next time, though, I am your girl, Black Barbara Walker. Chit, 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 it's your boy Walk. Come on, I'm out the building. And of course, it be me, y'all. That nigga. Until next time, we love y'all. <laughs>